This video will cover how to use the CMSA scoring software. Because there is a lot to cover, we'll break these videos down into different parts so you can easily find the information you need. This first video will cover downloading your event, checking to make sure your shoot information has downloaded correctly, how to set course numbers, go orders, and setting up your printer. First we need to download the event. The way this works is it keys off the registration end date for your event. If the registration end date for your event has passed, it will download your shoot. If your registrations are still open, it will load a test event instead. First, go to Data, then Download from CMSA. Enter your CMSA username and password. It will then download the event. The CMSA software will close. Reopen the software. Then let's check to make sure the correct shoot or shoots have downloaded and the information is right. To do so, go to Setup, Settings, and under Step 1 will be the name of your shoot or shoots if you're doing more than one. If you're doing more than one shoot, or for example, a shoot on Saturday and then a separate event on Sunday, Make sure that both events are here under the drop down. Next, under stage type, verify that all of your ancillary events for each day are present. If you're doing rifle and shotgun, for example, make sure that they are there. Next, let's verify payout information. Close this screen, then go to Setup, Payback. If you're using the CMSA software for payback, the blanks here will be filled with payback information that you've entered whenever you created your event online. You can use this screen to verify that your payout information is correct. Next, let's set the courses that we'll use. Go to Setup, Course Numbers. Simply select the course number from the drop down for the appropriate stage. If you wish to print a PDF of the course, you check the box next to the stage, then click Print. This will bring up a print preview PDF of the course to print out. Click the Save button when you're done. Then if you have an internet connection, you can also send the courses to the CMSA website for your shooters to view. Click the button Send Stage Info to CMSA. This will place the courses used on the website under your event details. Next, let's set the go order. Go to Setup. Settings, then click Sort Order. Under Step 1, choose the name of your event. Under Event Type, choose the Ancillary or Main Match, then click Load. You'll notice it appears that nothing has happened. That's because we haven't set the goal order yet. In our example, let's say we're running Levels 1 first down to Level 6. Under Step 2, set the order, beginning with Level 1's first. Even though NCCs are no longer offered, the software requires a blank to be filled out. So on this last line, choose NCC. On the secondary order, you can choose which gender goes first in the class. For example, let's say we want the senior ladies, then ladies to go first in the level one class. Select the appropriate drop downs. You can also group the sort by division or limited and open. For the main match, you'll leave the options as they are. Then under step three, click apply sort to event. Then click save. The button rotate order of go can be used if you wish to rotate the order within the class. Let's say you're doing a two day event and you want the order to stay the same, but rotate within the class. Click this button to do so. Click save when you're done making your changes. Under Manual Sort, this will allow you to change individual riders. So under Event, choose the name of your event. Event Type, choose the Ancillary or the Main Match. Then click Load. If you get this strange error message, that's fine. Just click OK. 
If you wish to change the go order of an individual person, click their name, type in the new go order number, then click OK. This will change the go for these individual people you choose. This is helpful if family members are sharing TAC or if you have a range master or staff member that needs to run out of order. Click Save, then Quit. To set up your printer, go to Setup, Settings, then click Printers slash Ports. The top line, Reports, is where you select the name of your printer. Network is used if you're using a network printer. If not, you can leave this alone, and the same with a tape printer. For PDF, leave it at the default of the CMSA PDF Creator, and the default location to save PDFs is good as well. For checks, select the name of your printer here that you're printing checks with. Typically, it'll be the same as your regular report printer, but you can use a different printer if you wish. The button Prompt Between Checks will have you manually click OK after each check is printed before printing the next check. That way you can verify each check manually as it prints. If you want to instead print all checks at once, leave this unchecked. That's all for this video. Our next video will pick up where we left off and go over adding and editing entries, entering times, printing results, and uploading times to the CMSA website.